Man, I'm really happy with how I'm playing this one. Round two. I've never seen Problem X so overwhelmed. What happened? You win. The mojo. <laughs> this is the best game I've ever seen you play, Jimmy. That was good, right? I agree. It was just a solid Round strategy one. executed, right? Fight. <laughs> Oh, I did EXTP, nothing happened. That was bad. Oh, 
I, I can't believe you had the balls to do that. <laughs> I should have just played it a little bit more safe, right? I thought for sure he was not going to press a button there. Round one. Fight! for me to make the comeback at the end. Round two. Mistimed my heart punch. That was it. He was dead right there. Ah, uh, I'm so upset about that. My heart punch. I just mistimed it at the end. You lose. Ah, unhappy. And the crosscut. Right. There were two crucial mistakes. That hard punch was really unlucky. I'm not quite sure what happened with the cross cut. I was definitely upset about it because I was ready for the jump and I still didn't get it. But I feel like the strategy, for the first time I feel like I'm playing against Problem X, but the strategy 
that is winnable. If I just keep the strategy up like that, there is no gap that Problem X can use to auto win. Can we see first to 10 with Jimmy and Problem X? Maybe at some point. That was a good set. I'm, I'm happy in general with the strategy. I'm rarely happy against Problem X because in a lot of cases he steamrolls me and I feel like I'm finally making progress in, in that. I, I, I think I'm, I'm finally covering uh, the gaps that he, he, he was using. Online lag? No, why would it be better? It's shitty on PC and it's shitty on console. Take a look at how much rollback this is. Like, this is just absolutely bad. I think Colleen on paper should be a lot weaker because of V-Shift. Her mix-ups that she gets for free are weaker now because of V-Shift. But does she also benefit from the changes? I wouldn't know, I don't play Colleen. Like, Dawson players were crying hard about uh, him. And Dawson happens to be one of the big winners of the yes. big V-Shift patch, two. not the loser. I remember this guy, didn't he just win a, a match and then he quit? Wasn't that the guy? Do you guys remember? <gasps> I lost EX! He played the first round so well, and then he fell apart. Yeah, he played well until the light kick fireball trap, right, where he was clueless. Do you want to know the pro tip, how, what to do round as one. Ryu in that spot? Fight. You should be doing a crutch and fierce into heavy tatsu uh, buffer. It's a conversion that I've not seen any Ryu player do in that spot. But I think that's optimal. Immediate, he did a medium DP there. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? 
Ah. Crouching light kick, crouching light punch, standing medium Round punch, two. EX donkey kick or Fight. something. Oh, that was it. My bad. Carry <laughs> OS too early. Okay. This is unplayable. Okay, there we go. No! <laughs> I almost had him there. Too much gambling right there. Okay, he was not expecting that one. By the way, the critical art was spent in, like, knowingly, uh, I knew the reversal was happening. So the CA was only used to remove V-Trigger uh, for him as a possibility. Because that turned the matchup in my favor. Because he didn't get the comeback mechanic. I have no idea what this guy's doing. Oh, 
I did what? I tried to block that. What happened? <laughs> I DP'd that. Did you just see that? Bullshit. <laughs> I hate it when, when that happens. I get the cross cut and it loses. He, he is wrong. I am right. That, that's the end of it. Round yeah, two. that's usually how uh, discussions and arguments end, right? One side admits that they they were wrong, and then we move on with life. That's usually how it goes, right? Especially in politics, for example. And this is why you can find characters, and this is where people make the wrong assumption, though. Then people will argue, well, clearly you can win with anyone, because people said Adon was weak, and then uh, Gamer B came along to show that you can still win with Adon. That does not mean that you can win with a weak character. It means that people have the wrong understanding of the character. Adon turned out to be a strong and viable character. And th this is what gets me when people make the wrong call on these situations where they're like, Oh, we have examples where, where you can see that you can win with any character. You just have to invest enough time into the character, which is completely wrong. I'm trying to do a delayed crutch and light kick and I miss timing it. It's unplayable. It's so bad. That was an option select. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chef, you're you're 1% right on that. But the the conclusion that people draw is completely wrong. People then use these examples like Shen and the Gamer B as oh we just need to have strong players pick up weak characters and the weak characters, they just magically become viable. Round one. No, that's not what happens. Fight. Come the fuck on. Like, take a look at how unplayable this is. I'm missing half the frames now. I don't agree. If you say weak characters become viable if you put in enough effort, then you're doubting the... Uh, the the idea of character strength to begin with. You're arguing character strength does not exist or matter. I think you have to be completely insane to make that statement if you think about it. Like, are you really going to tell me that character strength does not matter? If we make a fighting game with two characters, one with a million HP, and one character with one HP, but they are fundamentally the same. Are you gonna tell me that players just need to grind enough to win with the one HP character? And that, because character strength does not exist, right? Character strength clearly does not exist. Therefore, all pro players have to do in order to win is grind enough matches with the one HP character, and then they can overcome the deficit. I could not commentate a match in Arabic. No, my Arabic is not good enough for that. B-shift is such a big risk in the corner. You win.